morning, court, ladies, gentlemen, my lord. We are going to begin proceedings. We cannot wait for further people in the audience to arrive. The whereabouts of two of the advocates, I don't know. They will be fined heavily for turning up late to court. So you're welcome. Um, according to the list that uh, the court has received, Prosecution this morning will be presenting uh, Pilot's wife, Magdalene's friend, people who saw the old prophets, and a witness to the tearing of the curtain. That's the wrong list. Is the one that I edited in. The defense list is Simon of Cyrene. Hmm? Okay. Centurion and, and Joseph of Arimathea. Yes. Sophia. Prosecution have decided that today they are submitting the bystanders, the prophets, and the tomb guards. Okay, let court begin. Prosecution, please begin. Oi, address the court properly. I'm not your highness. I know in another era I was a princess, yes. I'm your lordship. Your lordship. Good morning, everyone. We are here to contest the fact that uh, Jesus uh, rose from the dead or Jesus resurrected. And uh, we have uh, witnesses who will be able to justify. And who are you calling? Remember, we have one minute for our court witness. It's supposed to be here. Just come into camera shot. Yes, your witness. I know that uh, your counsel is supposed to direct your testimony, but they tend. They tend to disappear off where you're supposed to be. Uh, advocate, advocate Kabunga, you are fined 20,000 for late appearance in court. And advocate. And advocate Solomon, you're also fined 20,000 for appearing late in court. Yes, thank you. But you know where it's not. Yes, your witness, counsel, are you directing her testimony? She's just blurring. And Lord, the court is going to listen to our testimony and then we shall cross the exam. Okay. State your name for the court clerk. And uh, court members. Uh, my name is uh, Ruth, uh, a friend in Santo of David. And uh, to give my testimony, I was uh, a man. Others that were behind the three Marys. Yes, others. Did you have your glasses that day? Sorry? No, go ahead. That's that's it for me, Your Highness. 
Or do you want the defense to ask their question? Could the defense ask their question? Counsel, then we'll come. Go ahead. It's okay. Thank you, Lordship. Um, to our guest this morning, you know it is very clear that when you're hired to do a job, you have instructions. Did you get any, any instructions when you were hired to protect the home? Yes, we did. Yes, and who gave you those instructions? We were picked from pilots army and put under the custody of the chief Chris to guard the tomb. Okay. And uh, what were the in specific instructions to watch over that tomb? Because there were specific instructions. To see that the disciples do not steal the body. Okay. And in your, in your statement earlier, you said while you were keeping up uh, the tomb, like you were instructed. And by the time you woke up, the tomb was open and Jesus was not there. So are you sure you saw what happened at that at that scene? Because when you are certain that the, the disciples either took Jesus or Jesus ran away, do you have any facts to that? Because suddenly all of this gets We were protecting the tomb against the disciples. No one else was interested in that God disappeared. So do you think the, the, the disciples made you sleep to steal the tomb? It wasn't the disciples that made us sleep, but the suspect, they took advantage of the situation. Uh, your Lordship, it's very clear that uh, the, the, one of the guards here today was very negligent of the duty that he was given. He could not uh, fulfill the duty of protecting that tomb. And the fact that you, you, you allege the disciples were very interested in Jesus, that's just an allegation.
and it starts. He said he does it. He does do. Yes. Thank you, Council. We've had the witnesses' testimony. He does do. They were very tired after 10 days of battle. So that clearly says they didn't see things. Please have a seat. <laughs> yes, the tomb was empty. That's a fact. <laughs> the fact is the tomb was empty. Don't worry. We are here to prove. Next. What's your next uh, uh, ga uh, whatever witness? Tata Fina. <laughs> <laughs> okay, prosecution, the witnesses are, are, are finished. It takes forever to get off the seat. Your Honor, please. No arguments. Thank you very much. Let's wait for the witness to come. State your name and give your testimony. Please. I was the unknown person who had not seen the prophet. The unknown person who had not seen the prophet. Yes. <laughs> so what are you coming here to say? <laughs> Yes, witness. Are they are they directing your witness or you know what you're saying? <laughs> you are anyone who didn't see. So you are the unknown anyone who didn't see the truth. Okay? I'm not sure your testimony holds water. Let her speak. <laughs> You have given a minute. Let's go. Of what book? Matthew. Of what book? Which who is Matthew to you as an unknown person? Okay.
Thank you, witness. Please sit down. You clarify for the witness. Yes, defense. I have prosecution. You have the one order, minute. We use the scroll to establish the truth and facts that have been in the Bible. May I ask the witness to read for us this scroll? Yes. Because she's testifying from the prophets that she talks to. It's taken from Isaiah chapter 53. Yes. My witness, uh, could you please read from verse 9 to verse Now you are a witness, you're not a counsel. Witnesses. 
Time out. Sind who? State your name and start. One minute. Thank you, Lord. For those of you who don't know the name of the centurion, the leader is the man from the army, the Roman army, who leads the man from the people, the soldier. So I'm um, the leader, and um, by God's grace, I saw what happened at the resurrection of the so called Jesus. And I was an employee. I was an employee of the Roman Empire and uh, I believe because of what I saw from the resurrection. We used to thought maybe we are giving the service to God by persecuting this Christ. But because of what I saw in the resurrection, I realized he was the son of God. And uh, it is false that people slept off when the resurrection was taking place. What happened is that the overwhelming power of God, overwhelming the gods, and they could not stop the power of God, and that is when God raised Jesus from the grave. Thank you. And uh, I've, need got, to finish. I've got One. an affidavit which I can present to you to see, and uh, maybe if someone can do it for me, please call this affidavit of other soldiers who were there. I love you, thank you. No, uh, your time is up. Yes. They will read the affidavit. Shush. They will read the affidavit, and that will be the end of your testimony, and they will cross examine. Yes. Uh, my Lord, 0751930468. While the women were on their way, some of the guards went into the city and reported to the high priest everything that had happened. When the chief priest had met with the elders and advised a plan, they gave the soldiers a large sum of money. Tell them... You are to say his disciples came during the night and stole him away while we were asleep. And this report is still used to this day. The soldiers took the money and did as they were told. Thank you, Centurion. Are you saying that this was uh, yes, a sworn statement? Given you see <laughs> <laughs> as an that we are the <laughs> So why, why didn't you return the money? Yes. Yes. Uh, Thank you so much, Centurion. First of all, can you prove the story you've just told us? Aside from the words you're saying, what is there to show that actually happened? What is this should check out the what happened well. is that Jesus brought from the dead, he's in this city, and he has appeared in many. Can you bring him yes. to this court? Yes. Uh, if God can give me time, I can present to him and the people whom he has healed after the resurrection. God can give me time. That is the purpose of your lawyer yeah. to bring those witnesses. Yes. But as it stands now, you are giving us here so your side yes. of the story versus the other guy's side of the story. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I would like to uh, uh, a little bit regarding to my our we have a minute. Uh, you said you were bright as as a team to, to uh, lie that the disciples had stolen Jesus. But because you believe that he has resurrection, because of the things that you have that witnessed uh, his resurrection, that made you believe, and so you did not take that pride. I don't take it. I don't Objection. And, 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 
the witch just brought the money from his pocket, so he took the prize. Cancel. Cancel. Be still. The court has the wisdom to decide. Yes. And when he says request for for him to present Jesus, because they are unbelievers, they think Jesus can be presented in court today. It is it is because of your unbelief. Objection. Because we know that Jesus is resurrected, mighty. You cannot see him here, so you have better believe. Thank you. Thank you, Council. They brought you facts from the Bible about the by one of the disciples that showed the body. Matthew, who wrote that, was part of those who stole the body. Yes, they were witnesses. Can you present our next witness? Yes, the prosecution outside is uh, wasting. A lot of time. State your name, please. My name is Joseph, and I am from Arima Pia. One minute. Um, I belong to San Pedro. Uh, that is a house of Jerusalem, and I went to the pilots. And when I got there, I found that he was that he thought Jesus was still alive. So he asked one of the centurions to go and check and be sure and certain that Jesus was still alive. And he did. And he came back and told him that Jesus was indeed dead. I thought. And so I was given the body. I was accompanied by my friend Nicodemus. He came with me. He had spices. I had the linen cloth. We wrapped his body properly and put it in a tomb that I own. So there was nobody else in the tomb. There was no other body except that. That was the body. Now on Sunday morning, I wake up to a lot of murmuring and uproar that Jesus was alive. So I quickly went to my tomb to check. And I, I was surprised. I found the hidden cloth right there. And it was as if the body had Evaporated. It wasn't there. So when I looked into my tomb, there was no one. So it was alive. Thank you, Sir. Thank you, Joseph. Yes, the council is presenting. Because our witness shared something very. Is this a court thing or it's a name thing? No, she's reminding me I'm meant to be somewhere else. Yes. Thank you, Joseph. Uh, when you were preparing this tomb before Jesus was buried in there, uh, if the body was uh, closed in, how, how strong was the seal or the, the stone that you could ascertain no one would have lifted that stone? The stone was very heavy that I had to get some of the stone. The stone was So it is it is uh, it is, is it possible that Jesus pushed the stone away or the, the guards or anyone else took the stone? That body was that body was carried away. He was actually killed. That body was very hard. He had the body like that. It's strong enough to push that. Unless there was a power of the Holy Spirit. Unless there was another power. Thank you very much. I'm not going to allow the, the prosecution to examine. We are short of time next week. Uh, thank you. You have to. Oh, you have to. You have to. Oh, 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 not one minute. I give you two questions. You can walk out. It's okay. You can go. One question. Cancel. Cancel. Can you be quiet? You are going to be just out of here. My questions are closed ended, so they'll be very short. One question. My Honor, allow us to ask one more than one question because they are going to close ended. How many questions? Because oh, I only have three questions, but they are close ended. Yes, this is the yes or no answer. 
You are a very rich man. Yes or no? Yes. You are Jesus' disciple. Yes or no? Yes, I am. This parable was carried out in secret by only two people and two bystanders. Yes or no? Yes. Those two people. My question is very short. My last question. My last question, Judge. It's a yes or no answer. One question. If two old men can roll a stone, can four, eight, twelve disciples easily roll that stone? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Two old men can roll the stone and carry it. Two old men. Yeah. So the Where does it say? This is a fight with me. That's the last one. Excuse me, do you two cancel there? Please behave. Please behave. Please behave. Please behave. Court clerk is intervening. It seems as if we have some upset amongst the advocates and the judge. Thank you, Joseph of Arimathea. I am going to go and find a supreme judge who will sit with the court tomorrow morning. Thank you. Excuse me, court clerk. That is not your Starting at 8.30. I will throw you out of my court. We have whistleblowing. We have whistleblowing. Thank you very much. We have...